Hello and welcome. I'm Ethan or the E-Reader. This is season one, episode thirty-one of the E-Reader podcast, and these are my five-star predictions for twenty twenty-one. Welcome back to my channel, and thanks for clicking on this video. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. I have uh, seven seven books, I think, um, here that I am planning to read in um, 2021. I'm not really planning. I'm more of like, I really want to read these books, so they're really high my TBR, which means I'm going, I- I'm essentially going to read them in 2021. So, uh, and some of these books are on my TBR for April. So, uh, I guess let's just get into it. I'll start off with the book that isn't even out yet. And that is... Well, for I'll give, like, a little explanation and why I want to read and stuff. Um, that book is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I love Andy Weir books. They are some of the best sci-fi... It's probably, they're probably up there in top five favorite sci-fi books I've ever read. Um, I've read both his debut novel and his his second novel i've read all his novels but it's only two um martian amazing book movie was really good and artemis was surprisingly really good too i'm not saying it's on to the level of martian but i'm not saying it's terrible like i i gave this book i think a four star and i really want to reread it because artemis was so good it's it, yeah it just it's about um this this um kind of building or not building but um kind of like a whole recreation or rec rec area on the moon where there's like a bunch of apartment buildings and uh you can go on tours and there's a hotel where you can just like you can stay there for a few nights and it's 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 just a cool place there's a place where you can see where neil armstrong and um just first step and uh it's it's not it's kind of a murder mystery not a murder mystery but it says on the back a trap between competing forces pursued by a killer and the law like she'll have to catch a truly spectacular scheme to have a chance at staying alive so she's running around on on this uh moon kind of facility but she's trapped up there she she can't she can't go anywhere and it's just it's just an amazing concept i love andy weir and i can't wait to read project hail mary which sounds amazing i i just i can't wait to read this book this book comes out in may i'm pretty sure and i just I can't wait. I can't wait to read this book. Andy Weir has has l- leveled my my expectations for his books are um, are really high, and I think he will deliver on Project Hail Mary because the synopsis sounds amazing. Okay, I went on a long time for that one. Next book, I'll I promise I'll try to go quicker. Next book is uh, which book should I go for? Okay, this one will be quick. Uh. The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, which is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. I uh, I, I might say this a lot in this video, but I can't wait to read this one, too. Uh, I've, said, I've heard so many things. I don't really know exactly what this book is about, but I've just heard so many great things about this. And uh seems like a really staple in the fantasy genre, so I love fantasy, so uh, I'll have to read this. I'm planning to read this in either May or June, but don't quote me on that, because... Uh, there's sometimes change my plans. And so the next book I will talk about is another fantasy book. And this is a book I have on my TBR of, for April, which I might not get to it, but I might. Is Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Roth, oh, um, I have already started this book. I'm at page uh, 145. And I just can't wait to continue reading this book and i can't wait to finish it and uh yeah it's just uh sounds it's also a really big fantasy book that is very popular and uh can't wait to read it i think it's about a magic school uh and it's like an adult harry potter is what i've heard of it so uh that is another one i have on my five star predictions oh i haven't been saying that a lot all these books are five stars I forgot the point of the whole video, geez. Uh, all these books um, are five-star predictions, meaning that what I'm, I've heard so many great things about these books that I think I will rate them five stars. I, I'm hoping, or I'm not hoping, I think I know they're going to be amazing books. So that's what, that's why um, these, are, these are my five-star predictions. Next book on my five-star predictions list. This is my one, 
two, three. I think this is my fourth. Next, um, I'll go with a Stephen King. Haven't talked about him that much this year, but I've read uh, three books of his this year. I've had I've read The Dark Tower book one and two, and I read Misery as well. Stephen King, I've totally uh, in total I've read five of his books, and he just outdo- outdoes it every single time. I love his writing. I love his horror. I love just love his. Love his writing. Um, so this is another five star prediction. It is, you might have guessed it. It is it by Stephen King. Yes, the Pennywise tale. I did make the mistake of watching the movie before, but I didn't really. I wasn't ready to read this thirteen hundred page masterpiece or what I've heard of it of a book. But I have seen the chapter one and two. But I kind of forget them. I saw them a couple years ago. So. Uh, it's, this year's a good time since I kind of forget those movies. So, uh, yeah, another five star prediction. And it, it's people say it's really good, and it's one of his longer ones, and one of his most popular, more popular ones. So excited to uh, to read that one. And number six, uh, four, five on the list is you might have noticed these are a lot of the, most of them are actually fantasy books. I think like five, five out of these seven. But another fantasy book is another staple or classic fantasy book is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. So yes, I read The Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers in 2020 at the near the end of 2020, and I want to finish this uh po- w- very popular series. Planning to get to it in May. Um, it's not that long. Um, I think it's only like 350 pages. Yeah, 50, f- 350 pages in my edition of the book, which uh, is like the font is pretty pretty big, but small pages. Um, but really excited to get this one. Another five star prediction, because so far I've rated the first set book, Fellowship of the Ring, in two hours five stars. Love those books. Those are in top five favorite books of all time. And uh, hopefully, Return of the King will be the same. And the sixth book in my five-star predictions is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, but more specifically, or not just like in general, The Stormlight Archive. I've heard so many good things about this uh, series. Very popular, and I wish I read it in 2020 so I was part of the hype for Rhythm of War, but I, uh, I didn't read it, which is sad. But I, but I want to finish the series in 2020 so that I'll be part of the hype for the fifth book. And I love being part of hype for books. That's, it's just so exciting. You're in the middle of it. Everyone wants to read this book. It's just so exciting. I love that. That's what happened with uh, Rick Riordan's, uh, the, what was it called? Oh my god, the, the Tower of Nero. That's what happened. Everyone wanted to read that book. It, there's so much hype around that book. It was the last uh, Camp, Camp Half-Blood Chronicles book. And I love being in the middle of that. I love that. So, uh, hopefully, I'll really like the Stormlight Archives, or I, I'm predicting that it'll be five stars. And uh, I'll be excited to read the fifth book. But first, I have to read the four, first four books. It's more specifically, The Wave Kings. This is my TBR for uh, April. And uh, I don't think I might, I might not be able to read the whole book, but maybe hope, I, I'm aiming for half of the book, 500 pages by the end of April. That is a reasonable goal. And... Uh, yeah, so another five-star prediction, Wave Kings by Brandon Sanchez. And the last last book, I'll go through quickly. Sorry, this is a longer video. The last book in my five-star predictions is the one I'm reading actually right now. Is The Hero of, the Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanchez. Another Sanchez book in my five-star predictions. Uh, I've, read, I've read the uh, first Mistborn book, The Final Empire, and the second, The Well of Ascension. Those books blew me away. Those books were fantastic. And I uh, can't wait to read The Hero of Ages. Um, this book, I'm I'm predicting it will be the, be the same or better than uh, the first and second Mistborn books. So, uh, we'll see. That is another prediction. And if you're wondering, I'm only at page like 50 of The Hero of Ages. So, that has been my... Predictions. Those were seven books. My five-star predictions for 2021. I'm going to get to these books in 2021. 
and these are five star predictions. I pretty I'm hoping or I'm predicting that all these books will be five stars. Um, the Hero of the Age, Hero, the Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, The Return of the King by J. R. R. Tolkien, It by Stephen King, uh, Pat, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, The Die of the World by Robert Jordan, and Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Those are all seven books that I'm predicting will be five stars. So uh, stay tuned in this the coming months. And uh, I'll probably do a five star predictions updated video, and once I read all those books and tell you, are they five stars? Are they not? I wonder. <laughs> I'm uh, hoping. Um, but thanks for listening. The this has been my five star predictions for 2021. I'm Ethan or the Eerie. This is season one, episode 31 of the Eerie Podcast. Thanks for listening. See you next time.